Hey everyone, and welcome to my video on how to use Midjourney AI Discord. Midjourney is an amazing new AI art generator that can create stunning images from just a text prompt. And the best part is, it's completely free to use. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started with Midjourney on Discord. I'll show you how to sign up, how to generate images, and how to get the most out of this powerful tool. So if you're interested in learning how to use Midjourney AI Discord, be sure to watch this video all the way through. We are going to learn in this video how to access Midjourney AI through Discord, how to set up Midjourney AI paid plan if you don't have one. Let's get started. First, we need to create a Discord account to start using Midjourney. Discord is a platform where communities gather online for chats and messaging. But why do we need an account on Discord? I'll explain later. For now, let's create an account. You can search for Discord on Google. Click on the first website that appears. You'll land on the Discord homepage. Now, we need to click on Open Discord in the browser. Now it will ask for your display name. Let's enter it and then click on I agree and so on. After that, click on the arrow. Here we need to do a quick verification step, similar to what we just did. You'll see it redirecting me to the Discord homepage. It might take a moment, so please wait for it. Then, it will ask for your birthday. Let me enter that and click Next. Next. Let's skip the server part for now, because we don't need it immediately. After that, it will ask for your email address and password to verify the account. You can either put that information here, or choose the claim account option to fill out the email address and password for verification. Let's do that. I'll enter my email and password, and then click on claim account. Now, you'll see a dialog box appears. I need to check my email for verification. Let me go back to my Gmail account. You'll see I received an email from Discord. I'll click on the Verify button and it will redirect me. Finally, I'll click on Go to Discord to start using it. Our current step is almost done. Next, we'll move on to the next step, which is joining Midjourney. To do this, click on the link provided in the video description. I'm clicking on the link and you'll see an interface like this. Click Accept Invite and you'll have joined Midjourney on Discord. Now in Discord, scroll a bit in the left sidebar and click on Newbie Room, you'll see that we're there. We can use Midjourney, utilize prompts, and generate images from here. We can also message Midjourney Bot privately by using Discord direct messages. Direct messages are a bit suitable for me, so I'll message Midjourney Bot directly. Just go to Direct Messages button in top left corner and then click on Midjourney Bot. Now you can message here. Now, let's type a gene and enter a prompt like a cute baby, flower, big bed, for example. After hitting enter, the real magic begins. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you through it in a simple way. First, let's discuss about Midjourney plans. Midjourney offers three plans, basic, standard, and pro. The basic plan costs $8 per month billed yearly and provides around 200 monthly generations with three concurrent fast jobs. The standard plan is priced at $24 per month billed yearly and offers 15 hours of fast generations and unlimited relaxed generations, along with three concurrent fast jobs. The Pro Plan, the most comprehensive at $48 per month billed yearly, includes 30 hours of fast generations, unlimited relaxed generations, and 12 concurrent fast jobs, plus stealth image generation. Let's say we're going with the basic plan, but before that, click on the monthly billing plan option. Don't forget to check the link in the video description for discount in these rates base pricing recording from first video. Now I'll show you how to generate images without any interruptions. Now we can start generating images, but it's important to create your own private server to ensure that your images and generations remain confidential. To do this, click on the plus icon on the left side, then select create my own server. Choose the option for me and my friends and give your server a name. Click create and your private server is set up, securing your images and prompts for you and your friends only. Next, click on Add your first app to use Midjourney. Search for Midjourney and the Midjourney bot will appear. Click Add to Server to use it in your private server. Click Continue and then scroll down to click Authorize. Verify that you're human, then click Go to My Server to return to your Midjourney server. Let's try it out. Type slash imagine and input the prompt a boy, holding a cat with their hands, then press Enter. It'll start working, and you'll see four variants of the images. Click on the desired image, upscale it if needed, and then right-click to save it. Choose the destination and click Save to store the image on your PC. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Midjourney AI Discord. If you have any questions or requests, 
please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I release new videos. I love hearing from my viewers, so please let me know what topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos. And if you have any suggestions for how I can improve my content, please share them as well. Thank you for watching.